people after people after people. They're all going to Straight Gate. So we came down to Straight Gate, get a few little plants. Look at that tomato that guy's got. Those are 20 bucks for those tomatoes that size. But uh, we need strawberries and uh, we came just in time, man. It is super busy here. Duke did real good in the car. He didn't get to go in, but uh, we got some strawberries and we got some peppers and you, our peppers are way bigger than their peppers. But these people here um, are very good. Straight Gate in Hicksville. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. And uh, extended parking back there. That whole parking thing is full of people coming. We can't even get out. <laughs> Everybody wants to be here. This is the place to be today. Woo! Beautiful day. Look how big that greenhouse is. Right up, it's out in the middle of nowhere, right outside of Hicksville. Uh, it's called Straight Gate Greenhouse. Great little place. They got so many things but uh, we've always had pretty good luck with them we went to get trick your jalapenos and some strawberries because you know we lost all of our strawberries last year and we got a few started this year but we need some more so we got uh, some june bearing some ever bearing and uh we did get a bunch of trick your jalapenos some for us and some for others because i don't think they're gonna last uh we can't get them to come up can't regrow them or at least none of the ones I think all the seeds are sterile but man they taste like a jalapeno they're just not hot so we got some seascape everbearings pretty nice looking plants uh, these are Albion everbearings and all you got is pictures to go off of so I don't know and we got three Albions Two seascapes, a jewel back there. See that jewel? That's a June bearing. And then we got some flavor fest that are June bearings. And then the, the three that'll give us ten plants. And the three in the greenhouse are ever bearings. And then uh, I picked these up, even though I don't need any tomatoes. Because uh, the kids down there, it's a whole family farm, straight gate, and there's young kids and uh, than the parents and I think they're a Mennonite family But uh, it looks like somebody's experimenting because they have these tags on everything But then they got a couple That they they just drew on There was a fat mama an early doll and a couple others that were just written on and so I Grabbed one of those see what that has And then we got our trick to X3Rs. I'll get the collar, Annabeth. And these are wonderful jalapenos. Wonderful jalapenos. We saved the seeds, but we could not get any of them to grow. So I bought four of them. We only need four plants here. I have uh, 12 extra, it looks like. I can either give away or sell. Something. Colossal pepper sweet bell uh, we do have quite a few bell peppers but uh, this one intrigued me and these flat these four packs right here are dollar fifty so dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty these were a dollar fifty a piece now they Tammy loves her succulents and she's never seen this red uh, cobweb flowering so she had to get this succulent and this was three dollars and then i i purchased this uh royal purple raspberry for eight bucks and some of the raspberries were only five but uh i wanted this guy and now look these are our peppers that's our small pepper right there. 
I guess that one's about the size of theirs, but most of these. And uh, when they get too big, I, I top them. I top all my peppers. I only got one pepper per variety usually, so I need as many, as much fruit off of each plant as I can get, and so I top them. They get big, big, big. See that one? And lots and lots of fruit. So, yeah, they're a little leggy right now, a lot bigger than the ones in the greenhouse. But I like them that big because I cut them and then they stall out for a, a week or so. And then they start getting, they take off again. So, that's why I start mine early. We won't do that with the trick jibs because they're so small already. I want to give them time to uh, live a full life. There's another pepper. I think this one is a, uh, that's a jumbo pino. Them jalapenos on there were about the size of bell peppers. I saved it and uh, saved seeds from them. And every year I'd pick the biggest one and man, I get jumbo pinos. They're good for stuffing or cooking on the grill. This is my hatch, hatch chilies. I got those last year and I got three or four of them. And man, they were huge and hot. So. Should have a pretty good pepper season. Uh, I've never grown this many peppers, but uh, I do plan on making some uh, some of my own seasonings this year. So I need a, a variety of peppers to do that. The last thing we got at Straight Gate are these candy onion plants, and these are called candy onions. Basil. Candy onion plants, and these are called candy onions. And they had uh, uh, three different varieties of the plants. And then I bought these shallots, and they're all good sized shallots. Because um, I am determined to grow some big onions this year. So, none of my seeds came up yet. I've tried six times, but I do have sets, shallots, and plants. We're going to plant them all. Now these shallots are a botanical variety and up until 2010 they were a separate uh, characterized as a separate species than an onion. The shallot has a lot more mild um, flavor and an onion has a more intense heat. So that's the difference between an onion and a shallot. There's uh, the secret seeds that we got from ivy. Yeah, I definitely think they're cucumbers now because this one's got a second, a primary set of leaves on it already. And that one's coming out. But look at this. This is pretty exciting. Our Armenian cukes are up. I've never had Armenian cukes. Uh, they look really white skinned. Said they're good for salads and uh, burpless, I think. So, Armenian cukes up and looking good mark can you please tell me is this what a corbachi pepper looks like that's the corbachi pepper you sent me and this is what's come up remember it was just a tiny little uh tiny little plant inside that jar well this is up big and got like purple leaves see you can see the purple there right there but uh Maybe not purple leaves. I don't know. Maybe that was a shadow. No, it's still purple down in here. Is that a corbachi pepper? Or is that hatch chili there and that corbachi pepper both just weeds that came out of the dirt? <laughs>